criminals who seek to undermine the integrity and progress we have made. From the onset, from the outset of the war, ladies and gentlemen, the interim government rightly designated the ADF as an outlaw group due to its harmful actions against our civilians. Instead of focusing on the adversary of the Republic of Cameroon, ADF's actions cause undue pain and suffering among civilians. Despite efforts to collaborate to mitigate such behavior, they persisted in harmful actions that have the potential to derail the struggle. We cannot continue to watch such behavior as it would imply shared responsibility. Over the years, the ADS focus has shifted away from combating the enemy we all want to overcome towards targeting civilian populations. Rather than engaging the Republic of Cameroon's army, the ADF has predominantly ambushed and eliminated restoration fighters. Their actions have been marked by brutality, including clandestine barriers of civilian decay through public executions. Chiefs have been targeted. Their heads sometimes taken as gruesome trophies. The ADF's violence extends to civilians, often with grotesque displays of their corpses exemplified by the tragic case of Florence Ayafo. They employ their weaponry to coerce and terrorize our communities, enforcing arbitrary lockdowns that disrupt essential markets and livelihoods, while simultaneously levying so-called liberation taxes on the very people they claim to liberate as seen in Mogamo local government area. In instances like in Mbengbe, roads have been closed off for extended periods, denying civilians access while facilitating military passage for Cameroon military, who remain unchallenged by the same ADF. This pattern of conduct during the seven years of conflict underscores the necessity of banning the ADF, I, I mean, a decision that I wholeheartedly endorse, and I continue to do so today. Today, I am calling on each and every one of you to reassert our firm stance against the ADF and stand on well in our commitment to eliminate them on our soil. Together, let us uphold the integrity with which we have tried to prosecute this struggle and shield our communities from those who seek to exploit it for power and personal gain. It is time, it is time for collective action, both home and abroad, to rid Ambazonian territory of ADF fighters. Too many of our people languish in prisons countless lives have been lost and hundreds of thousands are displaced forced into refugee status in nigeria and other parts of central africa all in the pursuit of ambazonian independence allowing ladies and gentlemen allowing the adf to operate with such impunity threatens us all risking the loss of our struggle to, to their actions and the actions of their criminals. The time has come for us to unite and rid Ambazonia of their presence. The interim government's message is clear. To achieve a free and independent Ambazonia, we must take decisive action against the ADF going forward, extorting civilians under the guise of a liberation tax why many struggle to afford basic necessities on a daily basis is a serious offense. It's imperative that we, the people, 
stand up against such criminal behavior. If the aid of C and the ADF want Amazonians to believe we are in the same fight, in the same cause, and have the same goal, and that Amazonians love and support them, how about they seeking fund, seeking funding from the diaspora as other groups in the struggle are doing? How about that? Harassing and holding civilians for ransom is not an act of bravery nor wisdom. It is criminal and cowardice. We stand in solidarity with the people of Momo and Mogamo in particular. And they strive to expel the ADF from the communities. Every ADF hideout, every ADF hideout must be exposed. And every affiliated fighter neutralized. Yes, neutralized. Let them have nowhere to hide on ground zero. When they come demanding for their liberation tax, make sure you pay them. Make sure you pay them to save your life. But make sure you gather information on their whereabouts, on their hideouts, and expose them for elimination. These measures are necessary, essential, because if we fail to remove root elements from within true Amazonian fighters, the sacrifices of the many who uphold, uphold integrity will be rendered meaningless, useless. Let us take decisive action to safeguard the future of Amazonia. And let me state here that taking out, neutralizing the ADF is not the case of dog eating dog or fighters against fighters as some would like to suggest. It is not. It is rather about ripping out the tears from the wheat so that all are not painted with a broad brush. You know who killed the chief? These chiefs were taken by Phil Marshall. Yes, you, you read the story of Phil Marshall, Oliver uh, uh, Lecker, who killed these chiefs. Yes, that story is very authentic. Oliver Lecker killed these three chiefs, and the reason is just bizarre. It's not something to be mentioned. But what's the significance of this, and how does it affect the Ambazonian Revolution? It's a terrible thing. And uh, this is just to show you the biggest mafia in this revolution that you say you're fighting for independence. And the mafia is between Chris Anu, Oliver uh, Fimasha, and the Cameroon government. I think it's the kind of Libya elite mafia. Paul Tasson was looking for a leverage to use it to condemn Ambazonians in the international community. And Fimasha gave him the opportunity to do that because the Fimasha that I always have told you before that has defected. And remember that National Telegraph did not say that Fimasha left Libya LM. From day one, when we indicated P. Marshall defected, we said he is still in the BLM, but some of his fighters have gone to Ghana and Nigeria and other places, but P. Marshall himself was still in the BLM. And this is a testimony. Everybody who is from the BLM knows this story about these three chiefs. If you're trying to hide it, you should just hide it in peace and don't get to, uh, you know, disturb National Telegraph why they are not reporting it. So these three chiefs were killed by, by P. Marshall, and we are very much not surprised that Chris Anu had to do an audio trying to say that, oh, it's the Cameroon military who did that. When you do a lie, an audio that is very, very, very not factual, like what some of them are doing, trying to spin it around, spin it around what do you do? You give the population the idea to believe that everything that people have been saying in this revolution is not true. But the story is very clear. Phil Marshall killed the three chiefs. And this is because Phil Marshall does not longer work for the revolution. Fimasha does not work for the revolution. And it's very important. We'll speak the truth at any time, any day. And we know it will give time for some of you to build up conspiracies. But we are doing our job as journalists and as a media organ. The three chiefs, it's a bad thing to see that you are killing, you kill your own people from the same area. And you get Cameroon government the leverage to go organize something in Yaoundé and begin to quote the image of other rebel leaders. It's a sad thing. And so this shows you the connection between Fimasha and Cameroonian authorities. We clearly said it, and we're still going to re repeat it, that Chris Anu and his brother, they are simply here because they want the money and they want the favor from the Cameroon government. And they are doing that. 
So anybody who wants to challenge the information we've given out here, you know, from fee masha to the Hindu issue, all of it, one million percent authentic. Batibo is just a fact. No child was born alive in Batibo, but this was used to ensure that they corrode the image of Ayabachu and other rebel leaders and for the Tamang government to get a leverage, a leverage at the level of the international community. So the three chiefs, we've shown you their pictures. Everybody from Esorata knows the story. Most, if not all, the people from the BLM know that story that uh, Fimasha killed the chiefs. And it's just for all Ambazonians to come out and condemn that barbaric act and give the Ambazonians a good face at the level of the international community. Let me tell you the truth. Chris Anu, everybody in the international community knows that he's not a serious person. Because it's easy for people to always reach out. To say, okay, this thing, this thing happened here. This thing didn't happen here. So you tell us, Le Bia Lempo, did, did this thing actually happen? Yeah, they'll get to the villagers. And there's nobody you're going to kidnap, you're going to tie, you're going to beat up. And there's nobody you're going to kill his chief and for no, for no reason that the person will not tell the truth to what happened. We have spoken with many people from Minnesota and they gave us these pictures, gave the name of the market, gave everything, gave us the date that this happened. And if you want, the story will be up on National Telegraph after this live show. So we want to say that all those who are parading falsehood must stop. Three chiefs were killed in Libya, and I can show you their pictures uh, while they were alive. You've not probably seen those pictures on any other platform, but let me show you this. Uh, let's get it clearly before I make the declaration and tell you what's going on. Uh, so these are their pictures. I have all their pictures. When that incident happened, this is one, one of the chiefs here. You have one of them. They are actually sub-chiefs. And then this is another one. You can see their picture. Those who are from the BLM will recognize them. So I have all their pictures right here, but I have not published. I have their full names. We have their full names. This one is called Chief uh, Folesio of uh, Alosuo. I might not be able to pronounce some of those names correctly. This is him. And uh, this is uh, Chief uh, Fozizong of Mbra. So this is Chief Fozizong of Umbra. So those are quarters within a... Uh, uh, this is Chief uh, Fomin uh, in Kencha of Ndonga, Ndongong, Ndongong, who was a head teacher as well. That's him right there. And um, all these chiefs were killed. Of course, as you are aware, uh, I will just give you a brief about the chief before I will tell you what happened. So some people say four chiefs. No, there are three chiefs that were killed. And uh, where did this happen? This happened in Eswata. Eswata is a village in uh, the BLM subdivision. And these chiefs were killed during, uh, they were taken from, they were all taken to the market square of, uh, uh, for a care down. That's how they call it. And then, um, from there, they, they call it the Enchant Insult Market before being shot and killed. And, uh, I mean, to me, I think that it's a sad thing and we sympathize with these chiefs. The big question that everybody will be asking is that, who did this act? And uh, everybody from the BLM knows exactly that that's what happened. Fimasha is a shame, it's a disgrace, it's pathetic that you have to kill chiefs for reasons that we don't know. But of course, the reason is simple is to give the Kamon government a leverage to be able to use it as a propaganda and to corrode the image of Ambazonia. You saw a person was in Yaoundé organizing a whole lot of things and calling Ambazonia terrorists. He was not uh, limiting it just to fear, Masha. He said, stop terrorism. And this goes a long way to corrode the image of separatists. Yes. No, the issue of the chief is a sad thing. And uh, Chris Anu and uh, fear, Masha, they know why they killed those chiefs. It's not normal. You go slaughter three chiefs. So if they receive threatening una, any soldier where he come for lockdown, it is destroying our economy, it is destroying our people, our future, it is destroy our chances for independence. When I catch that soldier, get him for La Republic na me kapo danye at the talk. But one thing I can assure Ambazonian is that our people are wicked to ourselves. They are wicked to ourselves. Sometimes is it out of ignorance? Nobody cannot know. We have demonstrated a level of wickedness that we have not seen even in Pobia. We have. You are asking people to kill family members of people who have done nothing. And yet, you are thinking that you are fighting against Bia for doing what? What has Pobia done to us? Are you not doing the same thing? 
if we are fighting to free ourselves from Cameroon and we quote that Cameroon is corrupt and we are doing corruption within our struggle, tolerating targeted killing, assassination of people without justice, without forgiveness, we must repent. Lesson number one, my country poor, Dr. Wetty. Listen, whether or not you accept my country poor is a force to reckon with. Me, I agree. He's an enemy that is strong. So, Ambazonians who thank my country people for this wonderful job. Now, move, go ahead. Okay. I salute my country people then. I the greet everybody. Today, on the number 14 day, inside the month of April 2024. So, as you join on a countryman today, press your share button. Today, I get a message from the authority them inside Northwest. I don't want to use this platform for cry the situation where they happen for Babi Singh. So as you join our countryman today, press your share button. Be very, very important. Um, before we go for the message proper, I'll just like to give now. I don't see already the news, very important news, where General Kunde for Tom Bedobi Kukuma is one of the notorious general for that area where he began to make the people for Kupe Malinguba for inside Tom Bedobi sleep. So he be Kukuma today by our Gala Ministry for inside Kuma. So thank you very much. I press on the share button. Today I come for talk on the issue where they happen for inside Babi Singh. This message today, the governor for the SDO of Nkoketunja, when a Babi Singh Pekin. This message today is the governor for the, the general for Northwest, General Buba. And this message is the go directly for the governor for Northwest, Pa Lele Afrique. I come today for send a message for them. Mostly for the SDO on Ketunja way na Babi Singh Pekin. Pa SDO are the one for make them officially may you know very well say your people are dying for inside Babi Singh. Might be you don't know but I come today for make you may you know wait till it happen. When I press on a share button one week ago the only bro for Babi Singh when an amber terrorist, where Koi says to be the only bro, he hold a businessman, he kidnap a businessman, where he named Felix. Take the businessman, execute him publicly, where to be happen for Guzan, for Batibo, and the very thing we have for Babi Singh a few days ago. But the only reason we do not see picture out there. And video out there because the only bro, no green no man take a video. Oh, my mother be snap or do anything. Whether the baby thinks they want rally up, the struggle for rally up. The only bro go after all them, beat them up, seize their phone, seize their money. And I want make Kuna Mona understand where to where happen again. Una press on a share button for the businessman before the one executed publicly, they collecting 19 million francs cash and they collecting. 500 cows. Life story. They're taking 19 million francs and 500 cows. That is why I come for bring this message out here. I know very well because the message is going to have the Kunkun distributor them. I know the Kunkun distributor that they do a fantastic job. I be aware of all the job that they do. I know very well so they get important things them. What did they do? That is why today I come because they matter be urgent. For cry for the people of Ketunja, their behalf. Because they don't cry for we. And the only person they feel cry, the people are like we. We are funded the rest for close to one week today. That is why I can't cry the crime of Ketunja, uh, for, for, for bad missing people them today. So I call the Jew of Ketunja, where I repeat the bad missing Pekin, son of the soil. Mr. S. Dio, you are the son of the soil. I want you, and the plea for you, for use your authority, your high office, for no people that they die. 
They need assistance from you. They need help from you. They need help from the Nabuba. They need help of the, 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 the governor of Northwest. But you, as a son of the soil, I want me you use all the power where you get for help your people because they need you. They are dying. They are dying in silence. Nobody go get for 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 Bambi simply talk because they waiting. The only brother hold the hostage. All they really fear for their life. So the only person they feel cry to are people like we. So we the back with the plea for the authority inside Northwest, parallelly and free governor, General Buba, and the deal on Wakatunja, and the cry on the behalf of the people of Bambi Singh. The, the, the phone of Bambi Singh does send a press release out there, but that will not be enough. It does struggle for its own part, but we need the Kunkun distributor them. May they help we give justice. Because now, just the first day where they take that 500 cow go for bush, it was a very good time for carrying out that mission. Because you know if you tell me, say 500 cow, na 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 two cow, where they they deal with the, the cow, so it be easier for trace them. It be easier for track them down. So that they be take that cow, we be expect say something will be done. But we understand. Say the kungundu so the kungundu to beat them. We na be so busy. We understand. Say the authority don't so we na be so busy. But we don't wait. One week don't pass. Nothing has been done. I know very well the job that they do for down there. It is very fantastic. We be aware for the new good job that they go and place bed at the camp because of this matter be very urgent. The Rosa said those, those cow them. They don't take 90 million francs. Me and you will not say if no, no, we will not do something by going after those terrorists by compromising them. That very money they don't collect them. And those are said that cow them. They go use that money for buy more weapons. They carry out criminal activities, kidnapping, raping, drug trafficking, and all the likes. So we need to do something as fast as possible for track those guys them down. Them don't pass what they say, no, we one gonna go pass it con short because no other con short. Now for take one or two, I mean keep them for that con short. Take one or three, keep them for the corner. Enter for the one pass, the wipe them. Time don't pass. So with the back, so we need an action. We need to make something be done. The duo, the Ezo and Gokatunja, when a bam is in Peking, Papa, sir, with due respect, sir, with the, the plea on the behalf of the people of Gokatunja, they are, I mean, sorry, people of uh, Babi Singh, they are suffering. They suffer. It's not easy. They only brought, they make life something else for the people of Bami Singh. So I cry on the behalf of the people of Bami Singh so that may this one go viral. May the people they know because I decide to bring this one out here because it be very, very urgent. Do the situation at hand, it be very urgent. That is why I come live for put them out here. For make them officially clear of what is the help of Obama missing. We need to do something. And the call upon the Kunkundus to beat them because we need Wuna Mona help we. We need a service. We the beg Wuna. We know very well so they're so busy. Wuna get a lot of things them to do. On another do fantastic job. We know we recognize and we know. But with the beg, say this matter be urgent. With the plea, and the plea on the behalf of the people, I beg Wuna. Wuna do something. More go fast as possible. We we'll track those guys them down because as they delay, I talk now. Those are said the cows them. They deal with five hundred cows. They execute a businessman way named Na Felix publicly. The same to have for 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 Guzang market that they tend to the only broad one. But the only thing we don't never hear about and never see them now because of security. The only broad go after all the mommy them where they get they get people don't snap in no green. The mommy that why be stand up for protest. He go after all my media, beat them up, seize their phone, seize their money. So I come for plea for the authority that inside Northwest. I send this message directly to General Buba, directly to the governor of Northwest, directly to the for the to the to the Enzo Mokaitunja when a baby sent picking. Sir, your people are dying. Do something. Do something. So I come here for tell Namona understand. We are not very well say the Kunkundus to beat them. They need to fight the Amber terrorists. I know that one very well. 
I know say they know they have to fight the amber terror because I'm not getting capability. And I know very well say they so busy. I will know on a fantastic job that they do. They are the beg because of the urgency of this matter. That is why I come out here for plea on the behalf of the people of Bamisin. They did die. They are suffering. So that is why I come here. Say, may something be done. The only bro, the only bro no get sense pass we. The only bro no wise pass we. He no smart pass we. We get sense pass it. We get everything pass it. I will know what to do. And I look up to now the conclusions to beat them for the fantastic result where I know say go come very soon and possible. So I thank you very much. I go still talk again. The SDO on Goketunja, when I'm about to Sam, so, I come personally for you. For beg you. For plea. Say, may you do something. May you use a high office. Use all the power where you get them. All the tactics where you get them. For help your people in Goketu, in, in, in Babisin. I beg you. You are the son of the soil. Do something for your people. Your people are dying. If you never know, know from today, the people are dying. They are, in to they are they're inside pain. Wait, no easy. Thank you so much. I just come today for turn a situation that happened for inside Barbie Singh. Thank you now. God bless you now. When I press on a share button.